you guys I brought additional batteries. I started playing music in my car. That's funny. Speak of the devil, right? Speak of the devil. It just went out. That's why I said that. But just stop. to um, keep up with that tempo, you know? stare at their government tracking device and occasionally they look up and then they look back down and go back to it. <laughs> People like me because I don't I don't do that. I mean, I'm sure the government's tracking me on that flip phone. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna live in this little fantasy bubble that that's not happening. I'm just not gonna make it any easier for them. 
You know? It's like all these people that say they hate the fucking government. Do they really? Why are you trying to fix it then? It's not fixable. They're always gonna screw you over. You know? If they can, they will. And they can, so they're gonna. <laughs> you know? It's like... I just think that it's gullibility, man. It's not an issue of politics. It's an issue of gullibility. Like, yeah, I would say the people on the left are kind of like more inclined to be crazy because, you know, they're insecure. But I'm telling you, man, if you don't march in lockstep with whatever people think you're supposed to march in lockstep with, like, people will hate you and they will take personal offense to it and they will call you names and say that you're all kinds of things that you're not. Um, because they, they can't really defend what they believe in. Because there's nothing to defend. This is not a real country. This is like fucking AstroTurf. You know? Like plastic watering I don't even know the words. I haven't heard that song in a long time. I need to listen to that song again. It's a pretty good song. Is that a good Tom York impression? <laughs> Should I just start like... <laughs> That's mean. That's mean, Amy. You're lucky that you have an eye that doesn't shut. <laughs> yeah, Tom York. That's the lead singer of Radiohead. He has... He has to have his eye, like, surgically reopened, like, every year, apparently. <laughs> That's just a funny condition to have. I would just keep that bitch closed if it was that much of a nuisance. I would just get used to it and, and move on with my life rather than do that. But, yeah, that's why he looks like that. If you ever see a, a picture of him and you're like, what? Why does he look like he's on Xanax? <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he, he's not. He just... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's just funny. I'm sorry. It's a funny condition. His eye, like, closes. And yeah, he has to get surgery to open it back up. I forget what it's called. I should look that up. But yeah, one of his eyes, like, looks like it's... <laughs> it looks like he's trying to wink. Dude, I still can't wink. I, I, can, I can do this eye, I can't do the other eye. There's a lot of shit I can't do. I can't roll my tongue. I can't make that sound that Mexicans make. You know? It's, it's really cool. I think it's sexy. But but it's because you, you, you roll your tongue. You have to be able to roll your tongue to make the sound. It's like when you say rojo. Rojo, that means red in, in, in Spaniard language, okay? <laughs> rojo. You know that? I can't make the sound. So it, it just sounds like that. Um, but, yeah, it's like that, that sound that you make when you roll your tongue. Um, so I don't think I'd ever be able to speak Spanish correctly. I mean, I'm sure they would understand what I'm saying. I'd be one of those Americans that they would laugh at and be like, see, sí, see, sí. you know, like, just to, just to make me be quiet, you know? <laughs> But this happened so many times where, like, um, one of my coworkers will be speaking to me in Spanish. And, like, I don't understand anything that she's saying, and she'll just keep talking, and I'll just be like, see, sí. see, sí. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. 
I don't know what well, I don't know what she's having me agree to, all because <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. But you know that's pretty bad when when people are speaking English and you still have no idea what they're talking about. You know I'm, I'm assuming that that's probably the way that people feel about me. They just don't know how to say it. They don't want to hurt my feelings. It won't hurt my feelings, honey. I can tell just by the look on your face that you have no idea what I'm talking about. I think a lot of the time people are afraid to disagree with me. I'm one of the few people in America that will not get upset if you don't agree with me. Most people don't agree with me. Much. Well, it's because I hold society accountable and nobody wants to be held accountable for anything. They, they want to just blame somebody else for why things are the way that they are. Now, I do believe that there's a lot of reasons why, you know, like, there's a lot of reasons why this country in particular is so bad. But I think the main problem with our society is that we think we can fix it. And, and much like my opinion on, on medication in relation to mental illness and shit like that, I just, I think a lot of this stuff is, like, not fixable. Like, it, if it's going to be fixed, it's going to be fixed by God. And if it's not fixed by God, it's not supposed to be fixed. And maybe people should just accept certain things about their experience, but also about the world that we live in. And I'm talking to myself here, by the way. I'm reminding myself, and I realize that that's what this channel is, it's like a reminder to myself that I need to cool it and stop being so uh, bitter about the way that things are because they're not going to fucking change. But, you know. Like, today is an acceptance day. Tomorrow is prob probably going to be a raise hell day. <laughs> you know? I just saw a bitch with blue hair. Did, did I ever have blue hair? No. It was pink. Oh, yeah! Pink hair. I was dating this guy that was like twice my age. And he insisted... And I was submissive at the time, and I said, yeah, baby, dye my hair pink. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. I want people to know I'm liberal. That's a good... That's a good indication that somebody's liberal. Okay? I don't know many conservatives that... would make that color selection. Ooh, look, 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 right in time, you guys. Look. I wonder if he knows that I'm filming this. Goodbye, trash. Goodbye. Isn't that just amazing? See, that is a fully functioning machine now. That's a machine that has a very simple task. <laughs> and because the task is simple, it does not fail. I mean, if you think about, like, computers and cars and, like, all these things that are, like, really complicated, you know? It's so easy for something like that to get screwed up, but, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that that truck malfunctions sometimes, but it just has one task. That's it. Pick up the fucking dumpster, you know? <laughs> That's all it has to do.
So maybe, if we're to trust machines at all, and you know my feelings on this, but it just seems like the simpler the better. So if, it, if that's true when it comes to a machine, then like we're, we're, pre we're pretty screwed up. Like, we're, we're pretty fucking stupid to be complicating things the way that we choose to complicate things when we really don't have to. Unfortunately, I don't know why I'm putting this on. It's like fucking 100 degrees outside. Um, we choose to complicate things. I think it's a case of, like, everybody's so used to, like, being miserable and... They don't know that they could have it so much better. And so they just keep going on Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and scrolling and all this shit. Because it's just like, that's what everybody does now. So it's like, why would people be like, no, I'm not going to do what everyone else is doing. I'm going to be different. You know, like, I'm going to go to the library and educate myself. I don't need Wikipedia. You know? I mean, Wikipedia is good. Wikipedia is like one of the few websites on the internet that's, that's worth looking at. Even though they're going the politically correct route. Um. It's just... There, there are so many better ways that people could live, and I guess because they don't have a good example of that, you know, like, hey, did you know that it doesn't have to be this way? Did you know that you could give way more of a fuck about yourself and live a far more productive life where you actually have meaning and purpose and a lot more peace about yourself and the world and all that. You know, they don't have a temperament. 